So in the previous video, we saw that if we modulated our modulated message, we would get this function e of t, and by applying some trigonomic identities, we'll arrive at this time domain equation where we have our m of t that's been separated, but now we have this slightly different term where we have our message modulating a cosine wave where we have a two being multiplied by that original carrier frequency. So we're going to try to find out what this message looks like in the frequency domain. And in order to do that, let's change the way this message looks a little bit so that we can get there. So first we'll distribute this one half and then we'll see, we'll change this from dealing with the angular frequency back into our frequency in Hertz. We can now look at this and we can apply the Euler formula here. So we know that our Euler formula looks like this, where we can write this cosine term uh, as e to the j terms. And if we do that, we have taken this, put it down here, and notice, right, that our in our Euler formula we had f naught here. And in our case, right, our f naught is 2fc. So we've put that here and here. So we've applied the Euler formula. We've broken it apart into these e to the j terms. Now we can multiply our message through. And these two 1 half terms come out to a quarter. Now we have our message multiplying these e to the j terms in two different places, one at 2fc and one at minus 2fc. Based on our frequency shifting property, we can see that this multiplying our message, right? So multiplying a message here by this e to the j term here is the same as a frequency shifting property. In this case, however, our frequency f naught, we could say as f naught is equal to 2 fc. And so this means that our frequency domain function of this is going to be our original message at half power and then our message at quarter power, quarter, uh, uh, a quarter of what it was, at two different frequencies, minus 2fc and plus 2fc. So we've taken our original message and we modulated it so that we could send it. Now we're trying to demodulate it. When we worked on the demodulation, we multiplied the modulated message by another cosine wave. We applied some trigonomic identities. We applied the Euler identity and the frequency shifting property to see that this will result in a frequency domain uh, signal, which has the original message separated by itself. And then it has the same message that has been shifted once again, not just to FC, but to 2FC and to minus 2FC. So the effect of multiplying the modulated message by that cosine wave was to create this uh, terms where we have moved the message even further out in frequency to plus and minus 2FC.